cream zippers. Um, it's not that this, this, the fact that the zipper separates is, they're a little bit different because when you need to shorten it, you can't just cut off the end. And I have several students just put it in, cut off the end, and then she says, well, what do I do now? Nothing. You have to take it out. <laughs> right? I mean, so I cut out a jacket, and um, it's similar to this pattern, but this is my own pattern. So I just want you to see what it looks like. So the front would look like this. And by the way, any time a pattern has suggestions for you um, that you don't like, let's say it's a design decision that you don't like, you don't have to follow it, okay? Mm -hmm. So one thing that I don't like in the pattern that I keep pointing to, it's the one that I suggested to you, is that there is a little turn down for the zipper to go in, but they tell you to turn it out. It's like a feature, but you may not like it. I don't like it, okay? So um, you can turn it under instead of turning it out, okay? You don't have to follow what they tell you to do. Um, what I noticed is in, in this, <laughs> In separating <coughs> zippers, uh, the, the tape, the zipper tape, is usually quite heavy because it's a heavier, um, usually yeah. heavier teeth. However, I'm not wearing a jacket today, but Eric pointed out to me that there is such a thing as separating invisible zipper. And uh, I don't, I'm not, I, and he pointed to me that actually, it's a class, you can't come in oh. right now, come back at 9 o'clock. Um, and they actually look quite nice. And they're not invisible because you don't see the, the zipper tape. Mm -hmm. They're invisible because the teeth are concealed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's still, the tab still hangs and uh, there is a, a separating part, but you don't see the teeth. And it could be quite nice. It looks elegant, it looks very nice. You know, maybe next week I'll wear a jacket that has it. And I did not even know that I've never seen one, but we sell them here. Oh. So if you're interested for your project maybe, ask them what length. I think the longest is 24 inches. So, but you can, you can explore and maybe something you haven't seen before, okay? But if you use a separating zipper with a heavy tape, what happens is uh, the knit is so stretchy and so light that it can't support a very heavy zipper tape. And so when you put it in and you wear it, sometimes there is like a ripple. Mm -hmm. If anybody's wearing a sweatshirt, look at that. Do you see? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's okay, it's perfectly acceptable, but you can prevent that. What if you're making, not a sweatshirt, what if you're making like something out of this? This could be a dressy jacket. You know, I'm actually gonna make this. I have um, I have a dress that I wear in the evening and uh, I had more fun that I made and it's off one shoulder. And I often want something on top of it, you know, because I don't always want my shoulders exposed. And so I'm gonna make this jacket and sort of like an upscale hoodie. Kind of thing, right? So what you can do is you can interface mm -hmm. underneath. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what I wanted you to see. So it's not in a pattern, but you can do this. Knits can be interfaced. Mm -hmm. And actually they can be interfaced with uh, fusible interfacing that doesn't have any stretch. This is a non-stretch woven interface and it almost has like a paper like quality um, it looks here it appears to be like a knit but it doesn't stretch it actually has no grain you can't stretch it this way or this way the only stretch it has is at the 45 and I like it it's medium weight it has a lot of glue on it how do you know something has a lot of glue it has the bumps are the raised you know you can feel the, the, the side where the glue is applied and the bumps appear to be not like a like a smooth layer of glue, but like bumpy. Mm -hmm. And that means there's quite a lot of glue. So it bonds really beautifully with the knit. Because the knit, you know, it's not very smooth mm -hmm. and uh, rough uh, interfacing. And so you can do that. And so now you've done that, you can insert a zipper and it's not going to ripple. So this is how you sort of take it to a different level. You don't have to do it for a project, but in case you don't like the ripple effect, which is kind of, you know, every hoodie has one, you can prevent it from happening, okay? So another thing, I wanted to show you uh, the project actually, if you're using this project, it has a band at the bottom, okay? So what I've done is I've attached, this is one side of my front, and here I have attached my band, okay? So it's gonna look like this, all right? So what I would like 
is I actually, so the band is double like this when we're done. But what I want is I don't want the zipper bottom to be like this. Mm -hmm. I want it to be like we did in the vent where it's like sandwiched. Do you see? Yeah. I want it a little bit higher end. I want it to be like this. And so I'll show you how to do that. Another thing that you, if you if, and I told you this is optional, I ask you to do a cuffed sleeve. Mm -hmm. You don't have to put a band on the bottom of the jacket. If you're using this pattern, that's what it has. It has a cuffed sleeve as well as a band on the bottom of the jacket. You don't have to do it. But uh, if you do it, um, you need to be concerned with how do you, you know, you have one side. Sorry, it has gloves. It can have a zipper. And then you attach it to the other side, right? They mm -hmm. should these should be at the same level. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you how do I do that? You show us how they I, do like yeah. I did on a skirt with yeah. the invisible yeah. zipper, yeah. right? Yeah. You start here, you sew this way and now. Yeah. So this you already know how to do, but pay attention because this is something that really shows. If you get this wrong, or if this uh, this level is lower or higher than this level, so just make sure that they look equal. Because anywhere a zipper, <coughs> zipper, particularly the one that looks like an embellishment, so this one has um, metal teeth and they're shiny. Because that's what I, the front of my dress also has a, a small zipper that looks 